Okay, this is my presentation at Career Day Foster High School. Okay, so we will just go on ahead with all her because I only have 25 minutes and we don't have other places to be, yeah? Okay. Introduce me. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I got you, I got you. Okay. Be quiet. Her. This is Kalitha Albert. She's a short story writer. She has written nine books and she's been published since 2007. She's a native of Texas and she's also a PCO that helps with community outreach and voter registration. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody knows what to do. All right. When someone introduces someone, we'll say, clap. Ready to play. Uh, it's, very, it's an honor to be with y'all here today. Um, as Janae was saying, my great ambassador, please give Janae a hand. I didn't know where to go. I didn't know what to do. I've only been in, on campus one time before. So the ambassador has did a great job in showing me where I need to be. I didn't know where room 317 was. So she's really good, and she's representing Foster High School very well. This is a really great school. I'm very happy to be here today. And so I wanted to do this two different ways. Either we can start out with you guys just asking me questions. What do you want to know about being a writer? How to do it? How much money is in it? What are the fans like? <laughs> what are the publishers like? What is it like to promote a book? Or I can tell you a little bit about me, 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 all about me. It's all about me. Yeah. And give you my background, who I am, where I'm from, yeah. you know, what kind of makeup I use, how I do my hair. <laughs> Let me know what it is that you guys want because this is your career day. And I want to tell you the information that you want to know. So I had a question up there. It's actually two when they're in the fourth sex of the spectrum. Uh, what are the names of some of the short stories they've written, and uh, what part of Texas are you from? Wow. <laughs> That's what you want to know, really? <laughs> some of the short stories that I've written is, according to the titles of my book, Sunbeams, Hell in Houston, which is where I'm from, Houston, Texas. Has anyone ever been to Houston? So you know what it's like to be in Houston. It is super humid. It is super hot. Anyone who does not believe in hell, visit Houston anytime. <laughs> and I guarantee you, you will know what it's like to you just feel like you're just going to burst into flames. It is just super, super hot. We wear shorts during Christmas time, don't we? Yeah. Well, oh my gosh. Constantly. 
Constantly. Yes. How much do you have to do? Um, it depends on you. You have to negotiate a very good contract, so you have to know as a writer. Some people are in the business to make money, and they make a lot of money, like the author of Fifty Shades of Grey, those type of books. J.K. Rowling made an ungodly amount of money. Stephen King. And all three of those authors had books that were written that also got movie deals. So those, those type of artists make a lot of money, but one thing I love about writing a book is if I never write anything anymore, I still got money in the bank. Yay. Yay. I love that. <laughs> I love that. So the key, whether whatever, whatever it is that you're going to do, if you can get into a position where your money works for you, that's what you want. So whether or not you're in Bermuda on the beach or you're still writing or whatever, you're still making money. And so that's a good thing. Yes, ma'am. Um, what's the publisher like? The publisher oh, The publishers are the most horrible, heinous people on the planet. They are parasites. They don't care anything about you or your art. So if you're looking for love and support and all of that, they only care about the bottom line. They only care about what's going to sell. Um, it's good if you have a support um a support group around you that does not include your manager, your publishers, your accountants, your agent, and the publisher. Because that is not their, their role to give you love. Whatever it is that you need in order to be able to write, that has to come from you. That's probably my agent calling me now like, am I going to get 10% of this presentation you're doing at Foster? You no. Know. <laughs> this is free. <laughs> Any other questions? What do you usually write about? Um, I usually write about all kinds of things, and that's different from what I publish. My genre is poetry and short stories, but there's a million um, genres out there from, uh, if you want to do sci-fi, like R.A. Salvatore, I love him. If you want to do horror and suspense, just like Stephen King. Um, if you want to be a poet, Langston Hughes. There's many different genres. I write everything as a writer. I write whatever it is that I want to write. But do I publish those? No. No. Gosh. Yeah. Um, what inspired you to become like, a full-time writer? Um, nothing really inspired me. It was an opportunity for me. I've always been writing as I was a, when I was a kid and when I was younger. I used to tell my brothers and sisters stories, just make up stories and stuff, ever since I was little. So, but, um, and just in regular life, I just journaled. When I was you guys' age, I had journals and journals and journals, stuff that I wrote about, you know, other people and stuff, you know, Bethany ain't that cute, who does she think she is? <laughs> and uh, and I, I kept all of those journals, but I, I got to a point in time in my life where I did not have to work. And I was able to write. And so I had the time to look for a publisher, look for an agent, submit manuscripts, those type of things. Kind of pull together all of my writing. Yep. Why are you recording this? Because I record everything. You know I'm a store. <laughs> Were you recording? She is. This is for my audio. It's not about y'all. Oh, okay. This is my audio for me. I didn't have y'all find it. And y'all not getting no money. Oh, why not? Okay? Why not? But I hope to, and that's a part of, part of it too. Know where it is that you want to end. The reason why I'm writing and the reason why I record everything, mainly because I'm so cute. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, you know, this is for my legacy. This is so that my great, 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 great granddaughter can find me. And there's audio, and there is, she knows what her great, great grandmama was all about. My, the thing that I'm giving my granddaughter as a legacy, when I die, is my passport that shows that I've been to Baghdad, I've been to Turkey, I've been to Spain, I've been to all these things. I want her to know that. So I'm not leaving just a, a, a spoken word or depending on my son or somebody else to tell her who I was. I want some hard, concrete proof. All of these books are going to be donated to, to y'all's library. Okay, the Seattle Public one. Library System. All of you know, so that anybody can be able to access my books and stuff. Those are some of the things that you want to think about. 
like I said, some writers get into their career because they just want to make money or they just want to be famous. For me, it's about my family and it's about my legacy. I would kill to have some of the writings that my great great grandmother wrote. I come from a long, a long line of storytellers. I'm from Texas, honey, and that's one thing that we do bigger than anybody else, and that is lie. <laughs> we're very, we're very good at that, and that is the basis of fiction. Fiction is a story. It's not based on truth, anything, anything like that, but it's a very compelling story that a large group of people like to read. Yes, yes. I have really good fans. Every month, um, I have meet the author event. And so for everybody who, who buys any of my stuff, um, I autograph it for them and I take pictures with them. And some people think that it's a love connection. Love. You know? There's some places, when I go to Lake Forest Park, I have to call, and this is a, one of the things you need to think about, who you want, what service you want to use as your bodyguard. I use Pinkerton, and I also hired, you know, my personal assistant through Pinkerton because I want somebody who can keep me where I need to be on time and keep me from, you know, doing my little author thing where I just got to get this story down, but can help me meet my obligations and, and can also, you know, shoot somebody in the face if they need to. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. But most of, most of the fans are really, really good. Super sweet, super nice. I have fans all over the world. And I love all of them. I love that they get what it is that I'm writing. But all it takes is one. Mm -hmm. So, Kuhama, how many years do you need to get to like, your writing? How many years do you need from college? Oh, no. no. No, no, no. See, I, I was, I've been telling stories ever since I was a little kid, so there's no way that I would have been in college at four. So a lot of the writing that I did from writing contests in uh, school, every year we had writing contests where we uh, competed among English classes at school. The next thing was English classes district-wide, then English classes statewide, then English classes across the United States, and then globally. Yeah. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think your best accomplishment is? Oh, my best accomplishment is my family. <laughs> you didn't say that. See, okay. be specific. When you're writing, it's important that you, you know, your noun and verb and predicate, all of that agrees. My biggest accomplishment was um, my first book, my first book. And I dedicated that to my oceanography teacher, Mrs. Beck, and she gave me very sound advice that I've used for the rest of my whole entire writing career. And she wasn't my English teacher, she was my oceanography teacher. What's oceanography? Oceanography is the study of the ocean. Y'all should know all about that in the Pacific Northwest. Oh, okay. I'll send an email to, to Ms. Lawson. Oh, no, no, no. It's all about money. If you can get funding for an oceanography teacher, if you guys show enough um, interest in that, then they will work to find the money. And there's always grant money for high school students for whatever it is that y'all want to learn. Yes, ma'am. Uh, when you get, what do you use to do with So do you use anything that or like, how do you I never have writer's block, and I'm going to tell you why. Because I don't get drunk and I don't get high. What? <laughs> I don't smoke and I don't chew and I don't kiss boys to do. Oh. <laughs> Y'all like that? Y'all like that? Yes. I'm a poet. I approve. I'm a poet. So I write in rhyme. I speak in rhyme. I do this all day. I never have any writer's block because I don't take anything that would interfere with me being able to do that. Um, as a kid, I always learned how to journal whatever was happening with me instead of going to those other things. I just wrote about it, and I felt fine. I didn't need any of that other stuff. So none of that has ever had to come back on me. I mean, even Stephen King had um, a drug problem, and he was afraid that if he stopped using drugs, he couldn't write anymore. 
Not me, but I don't do horror. I'm a poet. <laughs> Can you tell us a poem? Hmm? Can I tell us a poem? No, you're on form right now. Uh, my book is a, it's a dollar ninety nine on iTunes. Just download it. Free? No. What? No, no, no. They, they audio it? Yeah, I have. No, it's an ebook. Oh, okay. Well, I have a question. How many people are between you and your publisher? Hmm? How many people are between you and your publisher? A lot. Okay. Because you said like you had a manager and an accountant and a agent. Agent. <laughs> But I'm going to tell you what my agent does. I'm going to give you a quick poem. Y'all, how many Please. of you want to hear a poem? Because it's not all about I do, you. Why not? I know. Janae! I, I heard already back here. Come on, Janae. Dedicated to Janae. Oh, my God. All right. You want me to do Shut Up? You slay. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Which one? Um, Shut up. The one the that one you have. The one that you have. Um, bookmark. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna read. This is one that I normally read for um, a lot of people whenever I'm doing other presentations, meet the author, author events. This one is called um, Rock. Have y'all, you, any of you guys know what that is? No. no. If you ever get a chance to um, get into the catacombs in, in ancient Egypt, there are um, diagrams on the wall, and the aura is a person that's kind of like an intercessor between regular people. Are you going to talk while I'm talking? We're sorry, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, so I'm not going to explain anything. Here you go. You want to know what an orant is? Google it. <laughs> okay. There are those who are standing and waiting. I ask that you consider them. There are those who are lied to and lied on. I ask that you remember them. There are those who negative, no longer speak. I speak for them. Faithful ones forgotten, no one to grieve. I grieve for them. There are stories that are not told. I tell those stories. There is you who is worthy of glory. I give you glory. That was beautiful. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Something. All four. Do another one. Okay. Is there another question over here? Anybody? 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 Okay. Yeah. How many books have I've written nine. I've been published since 2007, and so I've I've written all types of things. He was talking about how many um, uh, how many people is between me and my publisher. One of them is an agent, and what the agent does is make sure that I'm making money. So um, because if I don't make any money, he doesn't make any money. Yeah. Uh -huh. Same way with the publisher. So it's in his best interest to always keep me working, always be promoting me, always getting me out there in front of uh, the public so people can know who, who I am so that maybe they'll feel inclined to uh, buy my books, follow me on Twitter, twi Twitter, uh, like my Facebook page, buy some t-shirts, uh, anything like that. <laughs> so, uh, and so that's what my agent does. He also gets me different jobs, like the next job that I'm going to be doing, which has nothing to do with writing, but it is a way for me to promote my books, is I'll be working with the cruise lines from May to September here. And so uh, I sing, basically I sing. PC for it. Oh, it was, it was coming. You didn't tell me that. I didn't have a chance to. Can you sing for us? Yeah. Cause you <laughs> was a model. I wasn't talking. I, that's, uh, let, let me tell you how I came to Seattle. I'm originally from Houston, but I came here through Boeing because my agent got me a job as a model. Hey. So I model. Yeah, so I model for Boeing right here in Renton at their. Um, and I just, I just basically just did as I was directed to do. They took pictures. I helped them sell planes. Um, can you sing? Yeah, I can sing. I'm from Texas. Yeah. What, you mean, what do you want me to sing? <laughs> I've been drinking. I've been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to sing? Anything. Forget your troubles. Come on, get happy. 
read a poem to everybody. These people are, they're over here just chit-chatting away, so they're going to read one of my poems to you all. I'll read it. And then if y'all don't have any other questions, come on up here. Come on, Janae's supposed to be. No, no, no. No, no, y'all over here speaking. I saw you two guys. That was him. All right, here we go. One last poem, and then we're going to call it a day. I've got some goodie bags for you guys, and they represent, um, three of them, it includes three titles of books that I've written. And also, a big thing that I get from my fans is jewelry, lots of rings. So I put rings in there, and also candy, because people are always trying to see me. <laughs> All right, this one is called Lovely. Lovely, the fantasies in my mind. Lovely, the passing of time. Lovely, the light of day. Lovely, when I find my way. Lovely, when I think of you. Lovely, when you think of me, too. Lovely, when you put me first. Lovely, when quench my thirst. When I'm missing you, the pain I go through. At the break of day, lovely, when you kiss all my pain away. <laughs> <laughs> y'all gonna have you read it. <laughs> so that's it. Unless y'all have other questions. Let's go the purpose. Any other any other questions? Anyone? Everybody, get one. Go ahead. You know what? I did not mean to wear my hair like this, but since it was raining, I just put the hat on. I like the hat. As a writer, it's very important to have love. These rings. Why? Yeah, but it's not real thing. You think I'm giving you real blue? Why? <laughs> I was like, what is he saying? All that blue? Why do you have a hat? Because when you have, when you're doing promotion, you have to do it. When you have a bed, you have to do it. Not being able to, when you're talking on the front, you get 
That's what time is exactly 25 minutes.